I'll back out epoxies. Um, I put the Cane Creek double barrel on here. Had a fiddle around with it last night. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty stable. Um, tubeless on the back now. DHR2 Minion. Um, still got the DHF at the front. So it should feel super stable and uh, plenty of grip. Um, give it a few laps, see how it goes. I just did a couple of back-to-backs down this. This is the bottom part of Fo uh, bottom part of Fox Fast. You got these uh, lefts and rights. Then you come down this fast, rough bit into the double, and then up the the green smoothie bit. Um, first one I came in, I was a little bit off line, and it was a little bit bumpy because I sped the high-speed rebound up uh, fairly fast just to see, just trying to find the limit of it, and. Um, I found that limit for sure, it was just too much, uh, too lively at the back. So I dialed it in a little bit just then. That second run was magic, especially down here after the camera view. Uh, I just mowed it and it's so controlled. It's so, you can put it exactly where you want and it, it just wants to eat it up. It's so fast, it accelerates through all this rough stuff. I'm pretty impressed for sure. So that was the bottom bit of fast. Um, you can see from the video how much speed I'm carrying out of there. Uh, none of those bumps slow it down. It don't even phase it. It stays on its line. Um, pretty much accelerates through all that rough stuff. Pops very nicely off the jumps and off the lips. It's super playful. Easy to lay down to turn. Um, it's just fast. It's so good. I'm pretty impressed. I, I wasn't too sure what to think uh, with the other shock on it. It was good, but it was a little bit limited, but those shocks aren't really made for the kind of speeds I'm doing and, and the, the stuff I'm putting this through. So this double barrel, it's shining. I don't know whether it's the shock uh, complementing the bike or the bike complementing the shock, but things shining. So that's it for the day. Um, I just did a Strava run of Fox Fast. <sighs> so good. Uh, two seconds off my best time in one of the sections. Uh, equaled my PR for the overall Fox run, so the whole Fox Fast without the Fire Road Sprint. Um, what can I say? It's killer. The only thing I'd change is high-rise handlebars because I like to be, I feel like I'm kind of here, which is where a lot of people ride, but I kind of like to ride, I like to ride here a little bit where I've got a little bit of give when I go too far over the front or it gets a bit nose heavy or gets in super steep stuff. So high rise bars. Um, the wheels are a little hard to get tires on, but it's nothing to, nothing to really complain about. They feel super strong. Uh, the forks maybe need a service. Um, they're killer, they're pipes, but they definitely don't feel uh, buttery like, like they do when they're new. So maybe a service will tidy that up, some fresh damper fluid. Uh, as for the chain line and the chain ring, it pedals absolutely through everything. So those choppy bits in between things, I'm happy to get on the get on the pedals hard. Uh, I'm not worried. I'm even even though I'm running 175 cranks, I'm not scared to pedal because there's a lot of clearance. It's got a higher bottom bracket than my rein, um, which uh, was a bit off-putting at the start. I wasn't too sure how I'd go with it, but it feels at home. It feels so good. You got clearance. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm being stood up in the corners. I can slay corners on it. It's killer. I definitely would prefer shorter cranks because I like, I don't know, I just like the feeling of a, a more compact crank. Um, no big deal again. Uh, never, skipped a, never skipped a gear. Never felt like it was skipping gears. Never ghost changed like when you have a big compression or anything and sometimes you ghost change. Never any of that. The thing runs flawless. Absolutely flawless. Um, putting these grippier tyres on makes the world a difference. The thing feels like an absolute plough, but it rides like it's super nimble. 
Um, it's got heaps of push, heaps and heaps of support. For how supple it is and how plush it is on the bumps, the support's unreal. You, I think it's push, you know, partially to the Cane Creek, but also the frame design itself. When I had the other shock on, same story. It had plenty to push against, um, and it was still plush. It was still, still supple. So super impressed. Uh, putting a little bit more high speed definitely made it better through there. Um, obviously a firm, it made the bike firmer overall. Uh, it didn't make it rough at all, it just motored through everything. Great around the corners. I could probably go a little bit more low speed compression, but it doesn't matter. I've got plenty of grip, uh, plenty of support. It's killer. Like I said, high rise bars and this thing's, it's also got an angle set in it. So stock standard, it's 66.7 degrees, which is kind of on the steep side for an enduro bike. Um, this angle set, I don't know the numbers, but I'm assuming it's more like a 66 degree, maybe 65 and a bit, maybe 60, I don't know, late, high 65. But it doesn't feel steep, it doesn't feel out, I don't know, it just feels killer. It feels great. 50 mil stem. It's killer.